In this new video, I will show you how to not stretch your scalene muscles, which are here and which are responsible for widespread pain in the chest, in the arm and around the shoulder blade here. This is so important that I almost feel like a whistleblower in the sense that many people have sent me emails that they have tried the stretch that I'm going to show you that you should not do and they have stayed blocked with pain for at least two weeks. So this is extremely important. Stay till the end. Let's Google scalene stretch. What we find is people who sit or stand and have a hand behind their back and stretch their neck with their hand in a movement which is kind of like that. I'm going very slowly because I don't want to hurt myself. So let's decompose that. The choice of the posture is not neutral. If you sit or stand, there must be a reason behind it and this reason must be in terms of stability and safety of your posture. So how stable and safe is a sitting posture? Well, look here, I sit normal, I'm on my sitting bones. Look at what happens when I slouch. So now tell me, among all the people who look at uh, scalene stretch on Google, tell me how many people will do the stretch slouching versus how many will do it with the proper sitting posture. Standing properly is even more tricky than, than sitting properly. Why? Because look, when sitting I was just moving my pelvis in rotation, whilst when I stand I can also shift it back and forth. This also has an impact on my neck, so doing this stretch standing is even more complex and therefore risky. Now, why do these guys tell you to put the hand in, the, in your back? Well, basically to lock your collarbone downwards, because this is the lower attachment of the scalene. Makes sense. But depending on what you do with your shoulder, front or back, you will also create strain or no strain in your scalene. Well, now tell me, among all the people who slouch or whatever, how many have their collarbone forward or at the right place? Well, last step, let's look at what happens with your neck. Basically, you're supposed to hold your head with your hand. Look at the size of your arm muscles versus the size of your scalene muscles and tell me if this is a smart force ratio between the two. And then people are supposed to do a 3D movement, which is lateral flexion, rotation and extension. Each one of these movements needs to be extremely precise and here you're not in the right conditions to do this movement precisely. Last but not least, and then you will hopefully understand why you should never do this stretch. When you want to stretch these muscles, shouldn't you first not try to remove every resistance to the stretch? Well, there's one resistance which is called gravity. Gravity, the weight of your head, tends to shorten the muscles. So there's absolutely no sense in stretching these muscles in a vertical posture because the very weight of your head goes against what you're trying to do with the stretch. So the proper stretch and the safe stretch for the scalene cannot be done by pulling with your hand and cannot be done sitting or standing. It's got to be done lying down, as I'm going to show you now, the safe version, which minimizes the risk of injury or pain. Now I'm lying down. As I'm lying down, the variability in the posture that I can take is very limited. This is a sign of safety. And look, to ensure that my back posture is safe, I will just bring my heels to my buttocks, which flattens my back and lowers the strain in the whole spine. Here, I'm therefore in a much safer position than I could be sitting or standing. Plus, this time there's no more weight of my head on the scalene muscles. And finally, I will not use my hands to pull on my head, I will just go down with my hands so as to lock the collarbone down, let's say the left collarbone. I'm gonna turn my palms to the ceiling so as to open the chest, that means not have the collarbone forward, but have it rather in direction of the ground. 
and then the 3D movement will be guided by the floor by rotating my head sideways, turning it and extending. And just to be extremely sure that I'm safe, I'm going to re-flatten my back just in case it went a bit hollow and I can feel this in my abs. I'm going to make sure that my shoulder is not forward and I'm going to hold this position for a minute. So if you want to be safe, forget what you see on Google. Don't stretch standing or sitting, especially when it comes to the neck muscles. Lie down and this is the very reason why I do not recommend stretching at work. I recommend stretching at home, either in the morning or in the evening, whilst there are great relaxation exercises, which I'm looking at the end of this video, for during the day when you're at work. The relaxation exercises are much safer. They do not require you to have a extremely accurate, no gravity position for one minute in a row. You can just do them for 10, 20, 40 seconds at a time. And the risk of hurting yourself is much, much, much lower.